took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you Day. Praise be Jesus Christ. Boys and girls, I'm so excited as I await you to come to the altar for the very first time to receive your Holy Communion. We have some instructions for you to make it a little bit easier for you, but I'm so happy and so privileged to be able to be the uh, vessel of God to admit you for the very, very first time to the Holy Altar. So I look forward to seeing you very soon. God bless you. Pray for this special day. Parents, if necessary, we do have confessions throughout the week if you feel your child needs to go to confession before making their first Holy Communion. It's advisable that they do. God bless you. We'll see you soon. Hello, everyone. This is Miss Carmen. Miss Nancy, Nana, and I want you to know how much we have missed you during this time. We know that you have been working so hard this year to receive your first communion, and we are very excited that you'll be receiving it in the upcoming weeks. We know that you have worked hard in this faith journey, and we look forward to this being one step of closeness to Jesus. We will be thinking of all of you during this time. We will be praying for you, and we love all of you. Happy First Communion. Hi, guys. In December, you received reconciliation for the first time. We were so proud of you. Now you're getting ready for First Holy Communion. There's so much we want to say, but time is short. Please know that Penguin... Miss Emma, Mrs. Colleen, and I are so proud of all of you. Although we can't be together for your celebration, please know that we will be with you in spirit. We're proud of you guys, and we look forward to seeing you at Mass and watching you proudly as you celebrate the Sacrament of Communion on a regular basis. God bless. Celebrate and enjoy your day. We miss you. The norms and guidelines listed here are most effective when we work together and are all on the same page. Your attentiveness to these measures will help everyone in the community feel more comfortable and peaceful when returning to church. Capacity. As we assemble for Mass, families must be spaced at least six feet apart. Currently, a maximum of 150 parishioners can be accommodated at any one Mass. Masks. Please remember to come to Mass with a mask. No person will be admitted into the church without a mask. There can be no exceptions made. Arrive early. Please arrive to the church 30 to 45 minutes prior to the start time of your respective Mass. As you line up to enter the church, maintain a distance of six feet from other families at all times. Do not shake hands. Please remind your nine guests to bring their respective tickets to ensure their seats. Escorted by ushers, an usher will escort and seat every family party, filling every other pew from the front to the back of the building. Everyone needs to stay in the seat you are assigned. No moving around will be allowed. Remember that physical distancing is for your protection and for the protection of others. Hands. Do not hold hands during the Our Father or at any other time during Mass. The floors of all three aisles in the church are marked with blue tape to ensure six feet of separation. On the way back to the pew, everyone must maintain spacing. Instructions on receiving Holy Communion. Step number one, make a sign of reverence. As the person in front of you receives Holy Communion, you are to make a sign of reverence. The bishops of the United States have decided that this sign of reverence is to be a bow. You then approach Father Joseph with hands extended. Father Joseph will lift the sacred host, show it to you, and say the body of Christ. Then you say amen. Step number two, do not move. Please do not move until Father Joseph has placed the sacred host on your hand and removed his hand. Receiving on the hand. 
hold your less dominant hand flat and place your dominant hand under it. Make sure you hold your hands high so Father Joseph can reach them. Do not move until he has placed the sacred host on your hand and removed his. Also, do not move your hand, arms, or fingers. Step number four, consuming the body of Christ. Once you have received the sacred host, consume the host with your dominant hand directly in front of Father Joseph and then reverently move on. Do not step aside.